Okay, this is what a manifold gauge set looks like. On the left is a compound or uh, absolute pressure gauge, and the right is a gauge pressure gauge. Now we're going to look at these a little closer and see if we can figure out what they, uh, how they work. Now this is a gauge pressure gauge. It is showing zero psi. That would be zero psi g and that's at atmospheric pressure. So it should always read zero when there's no pressure in the manifold, uh, but that actually is just under 15 pounds absolute pressure. Now this one's a little bit different. This is a compound gauge, or it can be called a uh, absolute pressure gauge. The difference is, we read zero right here. However, there is a scale below the zero. That scale is showing inches of mercury vacuum. And if I were at the 30 right down here, that would be absolute zero pressure. So we're actually about 15 pounds right there in absolute pressure. Because we deal with things that uh, are enclosed, we sometimes need to go below the gauge pressure. Now I'm going to take one of these apart so we can take a look at how they work. Now we're showing the back side of one of these gauges. Uh, this part right here is the Borden tube. Now, Borden tube is kind of an interesting little device. If I put pressure on it, and the pressure comes from inside this block through this 8th inch pipe thread, if I put pressure on it, it will tend to straighten. And so, so they take advantage of this, and they put a little gear right here. And you can see that little gear. Now, that gear... It's actually just a sector of a gear. When it moves, because this Borden tube stretched out a little bit, it rotates this uh, dial. Very simple device. Uh, if you overpressure these things, they do tend to kind of damage that uh, Borden tube. And so it may not work properly if it's been pretty massively overpressured. But uh, they are mechanical, they do wear out, and they occasionally sometimes leak. So that is the uh, gauge, both the, the compound gauge and the uh, PSIG gauge are both uh, built the same way. Uh, we have gauges for lower pressures, but they usually use a diaphragm to increase their uh, ability to move the movement. Uh, a lot of times these things have been replaced. Uh, an awful lot of folks in the field are now using uh, electronic gauges. And they have their good points and bad points. Anyway, that is the refrigeration gauge.